And we're back. All right. So here and there along the echo, let's interlude. And then we'll finish that. Yeah, we'll finish this and call it a night. So we might have two more weeks after this on this. Interesting. That's the same number that was on the back of the... Um, the little travel guide. I just want to check one thing here. Okay. Cool. So. Actually. I think those tones are correct. It's just interesting. Um, so I think it's the number from the back of the thing. Okay, yeah. That was the pamphlet we had with the Bureau of Secret Tour Tourism. That makes sense. Okay. For a menu of our resources, press 1. If you have an extension to dial, press 9. I do not have an extension. For information about our organization, press 3. If you don't remember dialing this number at all, press 5. To hear these options again, press 0. I always want to press 5 just to see what happens. The Bureau of Secret Tourism is supported by a generous population of river creatures whom I fix up and grill as necessary. <laughs> I am environmentally minded. And I believe all creatures are equally deserving of support in their transition to the next world. So I usually try to sing a little elegy, like... Small water creature, crab or frog. Now you know that sleep is all around us. Like a muggy, tranquil fog. Something Aww. like that. It's easier to come up with these songs when I'm hungry in a sort of transcendental fasting state, but I've actually just had breakfast. A debt of gratitude is also owed to the Bureau of Reclaimed Spaces, who unselfishly and unknowingly donates this here telephone line for the purpose of this here informational resource. So it's a pirate line? You can always find the latest secret tourism literature in any of our unmarked kiosks or any other old place it happens to lay. That's all I have to say about that. Hey, do me a favor. When you get a chance, call us back at extension 1928. 1928, okay. You can press zero now to go back to the main menu. Welcome home. For historical sites along the Echo River, press one. For a guide to the river's flora and fauna, press two. For help identifying an unfamiliar sound, press 3. If you're holding a snake right now, press 4. To hear these options again, press 0. So, you're probably not in any danger, but why are you holding that snake? <laughs> if you're involved in an exchange of some kind, press 1. If holding the snake is part of your practice press two if you don't remember why you're holding the snake press three to return okay what's the last thing you remember 
Please describe your memory in as much detail as you are able, paying particular attention to any smells and sounds you may recall. Were you breathing through your mouth or your nose? What did the air taste like? Are they actually like, let me punch so, something in? Feel free to call again with extension 1618. 1, tell us the whole story. All right. Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work on this here snake situation. What you're going for is a kind of gestural conversation. Don't worry. I'll lead you two through it. Give that snake a name. Two. Look her right in the eyes and say her name. I'm going to go with Delia for the purpose of demonstration, but okay. you pick a suitable name. Delia works for follow me. Follow along with me here. To the best of your ability. Delia, take it easy now. What if all of this is just a reflection of a reflection? Are we just going to get existential now, with this? The silence while she processes that metaphysical curveball. Okay, what's Delia up to now? If she's staring right back at you, press one. <laughs> I love if this. If she's wriggling around, press two. And if she's just kind of limp, press three. My experience is with snakes is they usually wriggle. Yikes. Okay, slowly. Slowly. Lean in like you're going to kiss her. You really got to make an impression here. I mean, it is crucial. Maintain eye contact to the best of your ability. I wish I had like a plush snake to <laughs> use for this. Inch from Delia's, let out a slow gentle sigh let your breath warm up that frosty snake blood you know gently all right where are we at if the snake is breathing heavily press one if she's curled around your forearm press two if her tongue is extended press three the curl again. Okay, I want you to tense your arm muscles and then relax them one by one. Take slow, shallow breaths. Tense, relax, tense, relax. Try to focus all your thoughts on that blood coursing through your arm veins. Forget Delia is even there, just you and your blood. There you go. Delia should be in a kind Love hanging out with me and my blood. Thoughtful state now, so you can move on. So, put that snake in some grass or something. Let Delia be free like a snake should. See you later, Delia. Go ahead and wash your hands if you care to. <laughs> I would. Welcome home. For historical sites along the Echo River, press 1. For a guide to the river's flora and fauna. Probably one and two. two. For help identifying an unfamiliar sound, press three. Well, if you're dialed into this here informational resource, then you're a certain kind of beachcombing. I hope they're not charging by the minute. So let's take a driftwood inventory. Okay. For a diver's guide to underwater islands, press 1. For forgotten places, press 2. For restless places, press 3. For what little we know of the iron pariah, press the what? 4. For food and drink recommendations, press 5. The iron pariah is just what she's called along the Echo River. Of course, she once had another name, but it's been scratched away, maybe out of shame, or maybe she took a sort of boat too sharply and left her true name on a rock. That's poetic. So, what else? We know she was in the war, but neither side would claim her. We don't know if anyone's aboard. She drifts along the water and commands a wide berth. Tourists, if you hope to document the Iron Pariah, I fear you will be disappointed. 
I don't know how much of this will actually listen through, but steer to shore and let her be carried along in silence. Pilgrims, I wouldn't dare to interfere. For a diver's guide to underwater islands, press one. Perhaps it's work through all of them. Violent displacement of natural gases. Perhaps the river tilts to face the moon, slowly changing the angle of its surface over time. Some sailors blame corked rocks. Whatever the geological explanation, the islands of the Echo River are mostly... I guess like cork in the middle, like a cork bat. ...diving on some inscrutable schedule. The following ah. islands are presently underwater. Slate Island... Rock of Magnets, Island of 60 kilohertz. This list is current as of now. Okay. For a diver's guide to underwater. For secret tourism, forgotten places are the vital spark. I've been to some of these. Take no pictures here, nor souvenirs. Write no travel. Yeah, they also don't let you go back to them. We will discuss these places now in vague qualified descriptions for the town with no roads to it oh, this, these, these aren't ones that are on the on the, for the brochure silo of late reflections press to for the monument to something that we don't remember what it is press three I suppose it must have been an important event if we felt we needed to commemorate it the monument looks like it was a lot of work to put together. I wonder if it was a happy occasion, something we were celebrating and didn't want to let go of, or if instead... I'm curious what con is considered so finishing this. We never wanted to forget it, for fear that we'd accidentally do it again. There isn't a plaque or anything. I guess we didn't think we'd need one. Oops. For a diver's guide... To underwater I for secret tourism, forgotten places are the vital spark. Take no pictures here, nor souvenirs. I want to get the list again. We did. I forgot the order. Like which one was the monument? Places now in vague and qualified descriptions. For the town with no roads. Town to silo. For the silo of late reflections, press two. For the monument to something that we don't remember what it is. That's three, and then four was three. Was four. Oh, there's nothing else. Okay. There is a town which has its own roads, but which no other roads connect to. They send and receive mail. There is a school, and so on. But what I want to tell you about now is the horses. Oh, there we go again. Town. I forget how they got there. They don't stay in stalls. They sleep outside. They walk through the town on the streets or on the sidewalks. And the people of the town. Was this the town we approached or were in when we saw the forces on the road? For a diver's guide to under. For secret tourism, forgotten places are the vital spark. Take no pictures here, nor souvenirs. Write no travelogues. We will discuss these places now in vague... Oh, the DTM effort, too, is the, the sound describer. No roads to... There is a silo so tall and strange that it can take years for an echoing word to bounce from bottom to top and then bottom again. If you wait patiently, you may overhear the conversations of earlier visitors. I once had an argument there with a dear friend, but I forget what it was about. And we haven't spoken since. Maybe I'll go find out someday. For a diver's guide to underwater islands, press... So we did tourism. I think three is the flora and fauna. places, press two. For restless places, press three. For, for the cluttered place, press one. For the flooding place, 
press 2 for a list of the places where people can't sleep press 3 there is a place always cluttered by debris floating along the water but once we get through this Otherwise, we can go back to the main menu then flora and fauna fact, the only way to find it is to notice that there happens to be more trash there than anywhere else around I wonder I mean, fair what enough. that is. For a diver's guide to underwater islands, press 1. For forgotten... For the clutter... There is a place that regularly floods. I first saw this place years ago when an acquaintance of mine, an artist... That might be, that's probably Lula. Yeah, it's gotta be Lula. The work was very complicated. All of her art. Yep, that's Lula. I remember it was made from huge piles of recycled newspapers. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to complete it before the flood came and wiped it out. The next time I passed by this place, it was full of young men and women on bicycles. They'd built a track weaving through the soggy ruins of my acquaintance's flooded artwork. That's the rising cool. water level quickly made it too dangerous to ride in anymore, and many bicycles were crashed and abandoned. The last time I saw the place, it had been repurposed to store handmade pottery earmarked for sale out of state. By the time I arrived, it was just a pile of ceramic fragments dashed by floodwaters against rusting bicycles and gray pulp. I've heard recently that this place has been reclaimed Oops. again. Surely this time... That was an accident. Things will I think we're still playing the same thing, though. For a diver's guide to underwater... For the cluttered place, press 1. For the flooding place... Press two. I think this is the People last one. can't sleep in the wet grass or on the bridges of New Konigsberg. They can't sleep anywhere near Lake Letha because it's too large. That's where they get the water Nobody for the whiskey. They can't sleep with their toes in the river because it's too cold. People can't sleep where I sleep because I'm all knees and elbows <laughs> and anyway. There isn't enough room for both of us. Damn. I'm not sure if anyone can sleep on the deck of the Mucky Mammoth, but I'm That's probably the ferry that came by. On the trash barge because of the smell. If you have anything to add, please call us back with extension 7360. For a diver's guide to underwater islands, press 1. For forgotten places... Press 2. For restless places. Press 3. For a diver's guide to underwater islands. Press 1. Okay. For forgotten places. Press 2. How do I drive to the main menu then? Restless places. Press 3. I have all the extensions written down too. What do we know of the Iron Pariah? Oh, for food and, rec food and drink recommendations? For food and drink recommendations. Press 5. To return to the main menu, press 6. To hear these options again. Oh, 0 is repeat. Okay, so 5 for food and drink, then 6. Press 1. For drink, press 2. To return to the main menu, press 5. If you plan your journey along the Echo to be a slow and thoughtful one, you will surely want to eat. It's true. I'm guessing we're going to be on the river for a bit in the next uh, act. Still fail you. Maybe the food you packed will fall in the water and be spoiled. Okay. Or it could be stolen by a bat. Well, I love the conjecture. The water sustains all travelers. Catch it yourself in the river or have something prepared for you at uh, uh, this place out on the lake. Um. <laughs> I can't remember it. It's called. Uh, oh, well, it's out on Lake Letha. It, it has to be out there where the water is deepest. If you 
Go early in the morning, you might see the diver bring in his nightly haul. Weird creatures from weird depths, fish, crabs, jellies, things we don't have proper names for at this elevation. Sam and Ida's, <laughs> that's the name of it. Sam dives, Ida cooks. Unique fare and uncommon conversation to say nothing. They dive at different times than the whiskey is? Tell them I said hello and that they're always in my thoughts and prayers. For a diver's guide to underwater eyes. For food, the water is fine. But more adventurous tourists will surely be looking for stronger stuff. Move quickly along past any strangers with cheap bourbon flasks. You can get that hard times rot gut anywhere. Oh, talking if shit. If you're traveling by boat, you'll want the traditional seafarer's liquor. As it happens, there's a watering hole called the Rum Colony, wholly devoted to the stuff. You know, mixed with sugar and bright colors. I've heard it's excellent, but I never drink the stuff. I take my spirits clear. For a diver's guide... That's it for drink recommendations? Uh, six? Welcome home. So we've done all the travel stuff. For historical sites along the Echo all the historical River, stuff. Press one. For a guide to the river's flora and fauna, press two. So we two. still need to do flora and fauna. For help identifying an unfamiliar sound. All right, so unfamiliar three. sound. If for we'll different first. types of water, press one. For the language of bats, press two. For insect interactions, press three. To return, the Echo River is best known for its plentiful waters. Not their volume, but their diversity. There's surface water, deep water, big water. Is the water count as fauna? Small water. Water that moves quickly. Slower water. Water in a cup. There's the water you know about, the water you don't know about, Ooh. and the water you only assume exists due to indirect evidence, <laughs> like a rumbling sound behind the rock. Cool water, but also warm, and even warmer. Water that gets things clean, water that only makes things dirtier, waters both soft and hard. Water in living bodies. If you come across any other kind of water, be very careful. Call us back and dial extension 0464 just to be safe. For different types of water, press 1. Many find no, it's bats. learning the language of bats to be intimidating. But it's really pretty straightforward. The most difficult part is getting your ultrasonic pronunciation right. Of course it is. See, bats have enormous, complex ears. For us, it's more of a struggle. Here, let's try some useful phrases. Repeat after me so you can practice. We're not going to be able to hear any of these, are we? Here's how you say, I don't know where I am. <laughs> Such a great bit. Okay. This is great. Here's how you could ask Haven't we met before? I thought it'd be funnier if you could hear it at all, but this is still pretty good. Great. And here's how you say Sorry, I must have left it in the boat. I hate when that happens. Now, a very useful phrase. It's a shame we didn't record that. <laughs> However, we are recording that. Every conversation has to end. So, here's how to say, I will write that down in case I forget it later.
Got it. For different types of water, press 1. If you stop your boat somewhere cool, you may find yourself swarmed by insects. Well, temperature-wise, or just cool in general? Or cover your face, thinking they're all trying to bite you or buzz in your ear. But these insects are more interested in each other than they are in you. Usually, in fact, yes, that's true. They've already forgotten you. They're back to chasing each other, breeding, competing over minds are so shallow that while you've been standing there with your hands raised to your face, they've begun to think of you as part of the landscape. A funny looking rock. This is what they sound like. He's not wrong. It's actually making me itch. Just thinking about it. You good? Sounds like it's intensifying. Of all the things for Comcast to try and cut out for it, it's this. Great. Thankfully, it's very low frame rate and already seems to have resettled itself, so. So we'll keep this archive. Alright, how long is this? It's not sending me back. Well, if you like bug noises, we might be here for a bit. Like, I don't want to hang up in case there's more discussion afterwards. This is the thing. buzzing subsiding so might be done nope Okay. It is what it is. Comcast is cutting out again, so frame rate might get choppy for the small phone in the corner again. There we go. For different types of water, press 1. For the language of bats, press 2. For insects, Interactions. Press three to return. It keeps all going to manually upload this section. It's going to be a pain in the butt. To hear these options again, press. Welcome home. Is there anything we haven't done here? Historical sites along the Echo River. Level out again. Press. We did historical sites. For a guide to the rivers flora and fauna. We just did flora and fauna. And no noises. Identifying an unfamiliar. For a catalog of subterranean bird song, press one. For help, identify we did the whole sna snake thing already. Dark, press two. If you are hearing organ music, press three. Interesting. 
to return okay, to the so there's three options here. Now I'll play you several recordings of Echo River Birdsong. When you hear a song you want to know more about, just press 1. Oh, that's kind of cool. At any time, you can press 5 to stop. That's the American Grid Piper. Huh, I thought they were extinct. The Rock Sparrow. Don't feed him. He'll come back with friends. Okay, there's just quick blurbs each time. That's good. You've got a gray-beaked grouse there. Not my favorite bird. <laughs> That's a morning hummingbird. So named because they bury their dead. Okay. <laughs> That's just a pigeon. <laughs> I believe that's a painted avocet. If you catch him, you can make a nice pigment from his feathers. Okay. Uh, the peat breathed river bill. Keep an eye on that one. They make their nests out of stolen jewelry. Oh, damn. Ah, uh, the lonesome teal. Ugly, spiteful little thing. That's the American Okay, we're repeating now. I thought they were extinct. For a catalog of subterranean bird song, press one. What was two again? For help identifying something that's happening in the dark. The wet there we go. contours of the echo. We're learning. This is educational programming. Reverberations that turn mundane sounds into weird rattling symphonies like that <laughs> like that it can be a challenge to pick through the clamor and recognize even something as simple as water dropping in a metal bucket especially in the dark here are some examples when you hear a sound you want to know more about just press one okay same deal At any time you can press five to stop And that was a canoe tipping over <laughs> what? several miles away. That's all, I love how specific these are. That was someone burning a phone book. Oops. That was someone tearing up an electric bill. That was a phone ringing underwater. Fair enough. That was a motorboat's propeller failing. That sounds about right. That was dirt being thrown on the lid of a coffin. Ooh. And that was a canoe tipping okay. over from several miles away. Or a catalog of so you've heard all those. Bird song, press one. For help identifying something that's happening in the dark, press two. If you are hearing organ music, press 3. To return... Lucky you. Does it sound like this? I don't know if this was the same organ music we listened to last week. Probably? Well, you'd probably get a weird, like, offset effect if you're listening to it on the phone and ambiently at the same time. So I don't know how helpful this informational line would be. And for those listening in stereo, yes, it is pre uh, preferring the left channel. Because, obviously, you'd have the phone up to your ear. In this case, your left ear, if you were looking at the phone. I don't know if you, I don't know if you're able to pull it to the other side to change your ears. I kind of want to try and move it, but I don't want to risk like hanging it up by accident. I'm just gonna click the gut, the nubbins here to hang up to call back for the extensions. Also, I want to do the, I wanted to do the uh, press five to, if you don't remember why you called.
I don't think we've gone as long as the insect noises yet. Yet. Four extensions to call, so that's also on the menu. Okay, no, still going. One of the few things I miss about not being a, a church like a lad anymore is organ music is always good. And growing up the church we went to, like amazing organ setup. So many pipes. Done? Press one if that's the <laughs> you're hearing. Otherwise, press two. Let's see what one is. In that case, uh, I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> that's great. Do it again. No. I'm not listening to that whole thing again. Actually. I kind of wasn't doing the whole thing again just so we could get to the whole, uh, the two. That was great, though. It's hilarious. This whole, like, phone service is very, like, Prairie Home Companion if it wasn't run by a turd. Um, meets, uh, Welcome to Night Vale. I'm, I'm, I'm into it. That's the vibe I'm getting. You might want to go get a snack at this point since we're going to be on uh, like another menu or two. <laughs> Kind of sad we only got one act and whenever we're going to work our way through the rest of this in, but this is definitely a rich font of okay. It is nice organ music though. Even if it is filtered through with the, like the phone noise filter. Maybe that much longer, right? <laughs> yeah, this was the finale, right? No. That's almost the secret of Mana Lake. There's another one I gotta get back to. I gotta get that collection of mana that has, uh, like, all the old ones. I don't care as much about the remasters, but... I would love to stream some Secret of Mana again. And not get as grindy as I did last time I did. Okay. For a catalog of 
subterranean bird song press one all right i'm not listening through that again just to identifying something that's happening in the dark press two if you are hearing organ music press three to return to the main menu press five so is there, is there anything else we haven't done on this main menu for historical sites we did the historical sites the echo river press one for a guide to the river's flora and fauna. We did that. Press two. We did the flora and fauna. For help identifying an unfamiliar We did the sound. unfamiliar sounds. Press three. We did the snake, snake, which is this right next now, one. Press four. To hear these options again, press zero. Okay, we're gonna hang up. And then we're gonna punch the number in again. Oh, these these this crew again. So uh, where to? I could use a taco or something. I am starving. I had all that jerky. There's supposed to be a sort of flooded cater by. Oh, you're gonna go up. And grab some coffee at a gas station on the way. I think they charge admission. I'll spot you. It's probably free though. You're an angel. Cool, ready to go. Let's just take a minute. So I guess we, yeah, we dial back in, so. The number you have dialed is not real. Oh, they, they skunk you out of it. So you'd have to basically have to replay it to do the extensions. All right, well, that's something for you to do on your own by getting the game on your own. All right. Wait, what? That's not the organ music we heard earlier. Excuse me? We good? Can call it again. If we can, that's good. Then we will do the extensions. Hello. You have so it's Will who's on the other end of the line. I don't think we've met a Will yet. A guide to the Echo River for drifters and pilgrims. We just have to manually back out. Or maybe you have to hang up again, and then it'll do the dialogue again, and you can leave. But I do at least want to do the, uh... Yeah, I think I'll leave the extensions to your own explorations, but I do want to do the, um... Eh, I might do a launch stream, I don't know. I, I definitely want to do the, uh... For a menu of our the Forgot Why You call or Called. Okay. If you have an extension to dial, press 9. For more information about our organization, press 3. If you don't remember dialing this number at all, press 5. So, you don't remember dialing this number. You just sort of woke up with the phone pressed <laughs> here, right on the other end. Or maybe you thought you dialed a different number, but your digits betrayed you. Or there's a faulty connection somewhere out there in that spiderweb lattice of phone cords that covers all of creation. It must be kind of a nice feeling, really. It's like you and I just bumped into each other in the street or I a love little this. cafe. Say, next time you meet a stranger, call us back at extension 7864 oh, and hand them the phone. We'd love to get to know them. That's five. Uh, different uh, historical sites. Cool, ready to go. 
Okay, so that's how we get out. Let's just take a minute. Alright, um... So we're gonna do the extensions now. I said I wasn't going to. I lied. Uh... Hup. The first one we have is 1928. We have to wait for this until we and I can get an input. This guy is a public service provided by the Bureau of Secret Tourism. I wasn't sort of giving prompts that I could probably hit the, the, the 9 to do the thing. For a menu of... Now is the time to dial an extension. Just want to listen to the wind blow. I forget what the context of all these were, but I will listen to them all. Static. Can you tune your TV to a dead station and let the static play into the phone? When you're finished, press the zero button. Thanks. Okay, buddy. Welcome home. Still not ready, so at least that was quick, so. This next up is 1618. We do have to listen to the intro again. Provided by the Bureau of Secret Tourism. I might do the second opera thing uh, off stream, but. For a menu, now is the time to dial an extension. <coughs> Something else shook loose. Well, how vivid is it? I mean, can you really smell it? Are you sweating it out now? Are your hands all damp? And when you brush your hair out of your eyes, it just tastes like... Uh... Listen, if your hands are damp... Again, I don't remember the context for any of these. If your feet are damp in your socks, press 2. If you don't feel particularly damp anywhere, press 3. I'm pretty dry. Everyone has a damp spot somewhere in their body or mind. That's what lets us sort of squish a little when we try to remember something. Muddy the details, right? Huh. Even if it's just that wet blood sloshing around in there. Your soggy heart, right? Let's hear all about it. When you're finished explaining yourself, press the zero button. Okay. Welcome. All right, three more to do. I'm not. I'm not going to go back for every single variant on that one. Uh. Welcome to phone cast. The phone zone. All right, so yeah, 7360 is the next one. Hello. You have dialed into here and there along the echo. A 
guide to the Echo River for drifters and pilgrims. This guide is a public service provided by the Bureau of Secret Tourism. I love this hold music. It's very pleasant. Or well, I guess more of an intro music than hold music. For a menu, now is the time to dial an extension. why you can't sleep. When you're finished, press the zero button. That's it? Okay. Welcome. That was a quick one. Alright, so two more. Uh... This number's gonna be etched into my brain. And like two weeks from now, I'm just gonna be like, why do I know this phone number? Next one's 0464, extension wise. Hello. I'm curious if there's anything with the pattern on the table or if it's supposed to be like scratched up or what. I'm curious if they floated this as a real phone number for a while. Press one. If you have an extension to dial, press nine. Now is the time to dial an extension. Oh, I'm too gun shy to actually well, like. Some weird water, huh? All right, we'd better catalog it. Yeah, this is telling we'll about put water. Phone up to it for a bit, huh. and we'll record it for later analysis. Press zero when you're done. Fair enough. Welcome home. For historical sites. Right, one more. I keep forgetting this part. All right. Yeah, I'm too gun shy to actually like try and dial it as a real number myself, but. I might look it up online to see if it gets any results besides the game. Plus, it's like nearly two in the morning here, so I think Kentucky is still Eastern Time Zone, Central at best. So I don't want to wake anybody up. It is a real number, Hello. but not like you have the service into number. Here and there along the Echo, a guide to the Echo River for drifters and pilgrims. This guide is a public service provided by the Bureau of Secret Tourism. That's a 7864 is the last one. For a menu of... Now is the time to dial an extension. Stranger, what's the first thing you Oh, this is the head to the stranger one. When you're finished remembering, press the zero button. That's interesting. Oh, the zero has the little Hello, funkiness stranger. behind it. What's the first I guess it keeps looping it. Alright. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go.